Good morning, Sudden Valley, and thank you for joining me for a special edition. As always, I am Summer Cronk, your unofficial, unaffiliated Sudden Valley Community Association neighbor and friendly real estate broker here to bring you some news and information. So recently, I had the idea of conducting some candidate interviews in an effort to help the community get to know some of the board candidates better so that they can vote according to who they feel resonates with them the most. We have several candidates running who have been on the board in the past or who are current board members. So for them, I feel like we have an idea of who they are or who they were as board members, and there's lots of video out there where we can see them in action representing our community. That said, and because I only have so much time in the day, I extended this inv invitation to those board members who haven't been on the board in the past. I've had two so far that have accepted the inv invitation, and the first one I'm going to share with you is Lori Robinson. So the interview is pretty brief, and again, the intention is just to help you get to know her just a little bit better and help you decide if she's somebody that you'd like to vote for. So without further ado, I'm going to present to you an interview with Lori Robinson. All right, well, good morning, Lori, and it's really nice to finally meet you in person. Um, I want to thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day to do this interview with me. I just want to start by giving you an opportunity to introduce yourself to those watching. I will ask you in a minute about your experience. So maybe just tell us a little bit about you personally, including how long you've lived in the Valley. Okay. My name is Lori Robinson. I um, grew up in Northern California and I met my husband. We had two kids. We moved to Sudden Valley in 2004 when my kids were eight and 12. So they grew up here pretty much in the Valley. So I've lived here about 18 years. Oh, wow. That's, that's awesome. So let's get to it. And we're just going to do a couple of brief questions about you running for the board. And the first one is, why do you wish to be on the board? And is there a specific role that you feel that you might like to fill, for example, treasurer, communications committee, something like that? Yeah. I, um, I would like to, I'm running for the board because I now have an opportunity to. I'm done raising kids. They're they're married and moved out of the area um, or moved into Bellingham proper. And I have retired from my full-time job in 2018. So it's, now it's time to really get my feet wet. I've been on the outsides looking in. Um, what was happening in the Valley wasn't always my first priority as family came first, but now is the time for me to make it a priority because this is where we plan to spend the rest of our years. And my parents live here as well. So I've got a dual purpose for making this Valley everything that it needs to be. That's awesome. Um, and very cool that your parents live in the Valley now too. I like that. So what skills or experience do you have that you feel pertain to the position? So my experience is um, my background is in operations, finance, and human resources. So in California, I was director of operations of a um, healthcare management company. So we did receivables for hospitals, major hospitals in, in California. And moving when we moved up here to Washington, I'm, the roles I've played were controller of a local real estate company and also the director of human resources for that same company where we grew from six employees to over 600 when I retired. Holy wow that's <laughs> impressive <laughs> and my last question for you is if you're elected what would you like to accomplish? Well some of the things I would like to accomplish first is to review our past expenses and budget and and see if what our future needs are and determine if they're within our budget, we need to make adjustments to our budget and make sure that our money is being used for the best interest of the community at whole. Um, I've requested the, the GLs and I'm looking through those so I can't remark on anything yet, but I and I hope to have them reviewed by the next candidate forum. I also want to make sure that we are maintaining repairing or disposing of our our current assets to make sure that we are using them um, the best way they're to be used and to make sure that they are, they are indeed an asset. I also want to encourage community involvement and communication. And I know community involvement is not a particular role of the board of directors, but I do believe that in the position of a member of the board of directors, we can do quite a bit to get the community more involved, whether that's approving um, community requests or the rec department or whoever, 
um, approving those requests to really get the community involved and things like, you know, like the Halloween dance going on, fishing derby, everything, but mainly getting information out there. Um, I know not a lot in the Valley have heard of these, of the forums that we're having as um, candidates. And we just found out, uh, you know, less than a week ago about our first candidate, I'm oh, sorry, about our first um, forum. So I really want to work on communication and which, which um, com committee would I, I want to work on? Well, I'm probably best fit for finance, but I would also like to expand because I have no problem with learning. I don't know everything. I'm going to be the first to admit I don't know anything. My husband will be the second to admit I don't know everything. Um, but I definitely am capable of learning. I've, I've learned laws in all 50 states as it regard, in regards to setting up businesses, tax implications, payroll, all of that. So learning, reading codes, revised code of Washington, I reference so often. So making sure that our bylaws and the revised code of Washington and everything is done according to plan. And if, it's, and if something doesn't fit in that plan, seeing what needs to be changed and making sure that our community is involved when they need to be involved. That's fantastic. I love it. Thank you so much, Lori, for meeting with me today and hopefully providing a little more insight into who you are as a board candidate. And I know that the community appreciates it as well. So thank you. Thank you so much. So there you have it. That was Lori Robinson, Sudden Valley Community Association board candidate. So I want to remind you that the AGM or the Association General Meeting will be held on November 5th. If you're mailing your ballot in using the postage paid envelope, it needs to be received, not postmarked, received no later than November 3rd. If you're dropping it off in person, the drop-off location is in the administration building at 4 Clubhouse Circle in Gate 2, and it needs to be dropped off no later than 4.30 p.m. on November 4th. And if you wish to vote in person, you need to arrive between 9 a.m. and noon, nope, sorry, 9 a.m. and 12.30 p.m. to the dance barn on November 5th to register and to cast your ballot in person. So get out there and vote. Thanks for watching.